uh, Saturday morning, 18th of November, round about uh, 7 o'clock, halfway up the wooded bit of Skirid, to my light off. And that's the sunrise you can just see. Surprisingly, there's no one about. I'm <coughs> trying to make the sunrise, which is uh, 22. Uh, 20 to 8 and definitely make the ridge whether I make the trig point by 20 to 8 is another matter anyway we'll hopefully see the sun come up over there okay it's a little bit nearer the top <coughs> actually I want to put my light on just to see these steps because they're slippery oh and you can see the ice on them which is just glistening down there not sure if the camera will pick this up, but it's reasonably cold. <coughs> um, let's just pick the path and turn the light out because the next bit should be spectacular. Uh, I've got friends that ask me, Why do you do this? Why do you go up mountains at silly times of day? Well, best answer is probably this. When you come out on the top of the ridge and you see something like that I'm not quite on top of the ridge yet I've just come out of the trees but first thing in the morning and last thing at night quick moon shot the light is absolutely stunning if you take photographs and that is absolutely stunning And also, there's usually no one about, which is also a bonus. Get away from people and have a bit of a time to think, time to relax on your own. Woohoo! It is slippy. The other thing um, I get asked quite a bit is, you know, you're in the middle of a forest, halfway up a mountain, the Black Mountains. It's dark. It's four o'clock in the morning or it's ten o'clock at night. Aren't you scared? And to be honest with you, um, absolutely not. Because uh, I'm six foot three. I'm certainly well over 20 stone. And I've got to be the scariest thing in our forest. Right, gotta go, or I'm not gonna get the sun on the trig point. I was gonna be signing off until I got to the trig point, but when you just come up the ridge there and you just come over the peak and the sugarloaf is in the distance, <sighs> with either a bit of frost or a bit of snow on it oh and the beacons in the background I'm not sure if you can see them behind the sugarloaf but they've definitely got snow on them and there's the moon she must be where The other thing I get asked is, isn't it hard to lug your uh, rather ample carcass up a mountain? And the answer is yes, but that's the whole point. It is difficult. You know, for a fat old 50 year old to get up here carrying a pile of crit and cameras and whatever. Yeah, it is. It's not easy. But then again, what in life is uh, 
worthwhile if it's easy. I think the safe answer to that is bugger all. God, the moon's looking pretty stunning as well. Right. Oh, and there's fog over certain fields over there. Not many, but a few. And in the distance, I'm not sure where the camera will pick it up. There's a plane being lit up by the sun. Right, I'd better get going. Just coming up to uh, the trig point as the sun is rising. It's about a minute away from coming over the horizon. And there's this morning. I've touched the skirred trig point before the sun has. And there it comes. And there's the rest of the black mountains. little look up here before I need to get down because I'm supposed to be having a bad practice at uh, 9, 9.30 in Blynavon so I need to get down and get showered and get up to Blynavon wind's picking up but there's sun, uh, sun hitting the sugarloaf to begin with and boy my hand that I have taken the glove off to take photos with is flipping cold it's got to be minus one or minus two up here as demonstrated by some of the grass frost. But definitely worth definitely worth being up here. Just to see the sun come up over the uh, over the horizon and light up the uh, the sugarloaf and uh, Penafmaur and Pancake Camp. And White Park actually in the distance. I must say, I'm sniffing a bit now. My nose is beginning to uh, Start running back down that hill. Just walking down that hill. Okay. Before I freeze to death, as obviously got the latest in waterproof synthetic natural material. Doing this in shorts is great in the whip, but then you do get a bit cold on the way down. And still not a soul up here. But then again, it is November the 18th, I think, Sunday morning, and it is only 10 to, uh, 10 to 8. back down. The sun's just hiding behind some clouds. And this is where it gets interesting because I'm not sure if you can pick up the frost on the grass but it's a different sight easier going up a slippy hill than it is going down. So thankfully I've got 
up here. Um, Blackie Bowles to uh, make sure I've got a good few points of contact. And I suspect it might even take me longer to get down than it did to get up. Because one thing you don't want to do when you're on your own up a mountain. And there's not much chance of anyone else coming up there anytime soon is fall and hurt something i've got a lot of kit with me anyway in case anything happens but you don't want to do it anyway but uh there's a sugar loaf oh and the camera's struggling to cope with the focus a dizzy fit on my hand? Not really. No. Okay, time to call her a day. And this is the uh, this is the view on the way back down from the post that marks where you turn off. And there's the sun coming up from behind the clouds to light up Sugarloaf again. So the camera's definitely struggling with this temperature, I think. I can see two cars in the car park now, so I'm probably going to pass someone on the way down. There's also supposed to be a steam train coming along at quarter past nine this morning. I'm going to be long gone by then, but I think all that smoke, the steam in the distance there, is probably it firing up. If not, someone's alight. You never know. And as you uh, come down, it's now, instead of icy underfoot, rather boggy and wet. Now we're into the trees and it's warmer. Oh, and this is where it's going to be two stick job because this is decidedly slippery. So when I get to the drain there, drainage channel, time to, yeah, definitely time to put away phone and sign off for the walk might do one when I get back to the car I keep saying signing off till I get the car and then you see something like this on the way down and you just think oh, how fantastic are the Black Mountains first thing in the morning birds in the background that scene greeting you on the walk down Doing a lot better than this either that or I've got a very limited imagination possibly a combination of the two Coming up to the uh, gear that is sort of halfway up and down the wooded part of the walk. And if you don't want to walk the ridge, it is possible to follow that wooden path up ahead when you come out of the gate on the way up and you scoot around the bottom and uh, do the steep bit at the very end around the other side of the skirt. But I must prefer to uh, walk the peak, the views are better. Through we go, and there's sun through the trees. Shut the gate. Bit slippery underfoot, yeah. But not as bad as it was further up. So hopefully I'll be able to get down without killing myself. Alright, 
if I don't put this one away, I probably will end up falling. I'm guessing that's got to be the steam drain, because it's kicking up an awful lot if it isn't. And this is the start of the walk up the skirid. And not far from done. Off to practice music in a band in Blenavon. <laughs> 